In today's lecture, we will discuss some practice problems on magnetic circuit calculations. The first question, the stator of a machine has a smooth surface but its rotor has open type of slots with slot width Ws is equal to tooth width Wt is equal to 12 mm. So width of slot and width of tooth are equal and is equal to 12 mm and the length of air gap Lg is equal to 2 mm. Find the effective length of air gap if the Cartes coefficient is equal to 1 by 1 plus 5 Lg by Ws. This equation is a general equation to find Cartes coefficient. There are no radial ventilating ducts. So the data given us uh, are uh, Ws is equal to Wt is equal to 12 mm, Lg length of air gap is 2 mm and there are no ventilating ducts so N is equal to 0. So we need to consider the case of ventilating ducts. Now, uh, in order to find the um, effective length of air gap, we, we have to calculate the gap contraction factor. And for finding gap contraction factor, we have to find the Carter's coefficient. Carter's coefficient for slots because here there are only slots, no ducts are there. So, the Carter's coefficient for slots is equal to, as given in the question, the equation is 1 by 1 plus 5 Lg by Ws that is equal to 0.545 then the equation for gap contraction factor for slots kgs is equal to ys that is slot pitch ys by ys minus kcs ws here we have to calculate ys so here ys is equal to ws plus wt width of slot plus width of 2 is equal to 12 plus 12 that is 24 mm then substituting the value of ys in this equation, uh, you can uh, write it as 24 divided by 24 minus, here kcs we have already calculated as 0.545 and ws that is width of slot is 12 mm, so it is equal to 1.37. Then effective length of air gap is equal to the product of gap contraction factor and the length of air gap that is kgs gap contraction factor for slots into lg is point sorry 1.37 into 2 that is 2.74 mm so even though the actual length of air gap is 2 mm due to the presence of slots the effective length of air gap has become 2.74 mm the second question is Calculate the MMF required for the air gap of a machine having core length is equal to 0.32 meter including 4 ducts of 10 mm each. So there are 4 ventilating ducts of 10 mm each and the length of core is 0.32 meter. Polar is equal to 0.19 meter. Slot pitch is equal to 65.4 mm that is YS is equal to 65.4 mm. Then slot opening is 5 mm, air gap length 5 mm, uh, flux per pole is 52 milliweber. Given Carter's coefficient is 0 0.18 for opening per gap is equal to 1 and 0.28 for opening per gap is equal to 2. The solution. Uh, they, these are the data given, uh, length of core, number of ventilating ducts, width of duct, pole arc, uh, slot pitch, uh, slot opening that is 5 mm and LG length of air gap is 5 mm. So here the Carter's coefficient is given in a different way. So let's uh, identify which one is for slot and, the, and which one is for ducts. So first it is given that uh, for, uh, uh, in, in the case of slots, uh, the opening per gap can be calculated as sloped opening divided by length of air gap. That is equal to here the slot opening is 5 mm and length of air gap is 5 mm. So 5 by 5 is equal to 1. So in the case of slots, the uh, opening per gap is 1. But in the question it is given that uh, if opening per gap is equal to 1 then Carter's coefficient is 0.18. So 
the Cartes coefficient for slopes Kcs is equal to 0.18. Then the other case that is in the case of dex. In the case of dex, opening per gap is calculated as opening. Here the opening is width of duct and length of gap is Lg. It is equal to width of duct is given as 10 mm, 10 divided by 5 that is 2. So in this question it is given that if the opening per gap is equal to 2 then the Carter's coefficient is 0 0.8. So in the case of ducts the opening per gap is 2. So the Carter's coefficient for ducts is equal to 0 0.28. Then uh, gap contraction factor for slopes Kgs. The equation is Ys by Ys minus Kcs Ws. Ys is uh, also, uh, um, YS is given in the question uh, that, that is uh, 65.4 minus KCS uh, is also given in the question that is 0.18 into width of slot. Width of slot is uh, here, width of slot is taken as the width slot opening, then that is equal to 5 mm. So, KGS is calculated by, as uh, 1.014. Then, the gap contraction factor for ducts. KGD. The equation is L by L minus ND WD KCD. Here L length of core is given as 0.32 and ND number of ducts is 4. WD width of duct is given as 10 mm. Here the, this 10 mm is converted to meters that is 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 and into uh, KCD. KCD is the uh, Carter's coefficient for ducts and that is 0.28. Here the width of duct is converted to meters because the length of core is given in meters. And uh, KGD is equal to 1.036. Now the total gap contraction factor for slots and ducts is equal to KGS into KGD it is equal to 1.04. Then the flux density in air gap under pole BG is equal to flux per pole divided by area under pole. Flux per pole is given in the question. Area under pole means pole arc into core length. So 52 into 10 raised to minus 3 is the flux per pole. Uh, 52 milliweber divided by pole arc is 0.19 and core length is 0.32. It is equal to 0.854 weber per meter square. The MMF required for air gap uh, is equal to 8 TG is equal to the, question, the equation is 8 into 10 raised to 5 BG KG LG. A, a, that is 8 into 10 raised to 5 BG is uh, 0.854 KG gap contraction factor total gap contraction factor is 1.05 and LG that is the length of air gap is 5 into 10 raised to minus 3 in meters it is equal to uh, 3587 amperes thank you